Hello YouTube. Uh, it's been about 10 days since my last update. This is the 10th day since my surgery. And um, you'll notice a couple things. Uh, one, I have my glasses on because I'm way too lazy to go in there and put my contacts on. And two, you'll notice I'm a little bit nasally. Um, that's nothing to do with the surgery. I just happened to get settled with a sinus infection for the last couple days and this is probably the first day I've actually been able to talk, so here we go. Um, my progress since the surgery, I'm doing pretty good. I'm finding this liquid diet a lot harder than I thought. Um, the first um, two or th three or four days, maybe five days, I was doing just fine. I didn't really want to eat. My stomach was full all the time, and I was pretty much just getting by on power a zero drop drops you know that you drop into water you know I put them in a little hospital jug here and I got like little ounces on there so I can um you know keep track of my fluids I'm supposed to have at least 64 and more than like they want me to have like 94 ounces of fluid a day I'm doing pretty good. I, that thing goes up to like 28. I drink that two and a half times at least, and that's about what I have a day. Uh, pretty much getting by, like I said, Powerade Zero, sugar-free popsicles, and I've had uh, sugar-free um, uh, orange jello once. And um, I tried some uh, Swanson's chicken broth. That was the nastiest smelling and tasting stuff that I have ever had in my life. It, ta it tasted like they just trickled some water down a chicken's butt and then put it in a bowl. Really sucked. Um, in desperation, I have bought some reduced sodium chicken noodle soup. I just, just drink, eat, whatever, sip the broth out of that. And then I, um, you know, I, I, I hate to waste food, but I throw away the other stuff, you know, the noodles and the carrots and the, and the, and the chicken or whatever. I just eat the broth. I tried that once. It's not terrible, still kind of nasty, but at this point I'm pretty desperate. Um, in about four days, five days, I'll go to my two-week checkup, which is actually going to be a two-week and one-day checkup because I got a couple appointments that week. So instead of going on Tuesday, I'll go on Wednesday, and then they'll probably go ahead and put me on my mushy foods then. I've never been so looking forward to scrambled eggs in my life. Um, you can have some more stuff on there. I think the second week of your mushy food phase, I think you can have like skinless uh, chicken legs and stuff like that, which is going to be awesome. But uh, I'm doing pretty good. I weighed last Tuesday, and a week before my surgery, I weighed, and I was like 371. And when I weighed last Tuesday, I was 3, uh, I think it was like 51 or 354, something like that. So I've lost almost 20 pounds in the two weeks, and at that point, it was only like uh, one week after my surgery. So most of that came off in that first week. Uh, I'm not going to weigh again until Tuesday because you're supposed to weigh on the same day every every week because your weight can fluctuate. I don't know if that's the same thing with the uh, after the surgery, but I'm hoping to be hoping to be a lot less. Um, so um, no, actually, no, actually, that's wrong. That's wrong. The, the two weeks before I was 381 and then after, two weeks after I was 361 that's what it was that's, I was you know around you know um, around 20 pounds under I'm hoping to lose another 5 or 10 pounds by next week because like I said I'm not eating anything I mean there's, there's nothing I'm eating and I'm always hungry my hunger came back a lot quicker than I was, than I was expecting but other than that I'm doing fine. I've pretty much uh, wheedled my way off of the uh, pain meds. I was supposed to take between two to four teaspoons every six hours, and I was taking that right right after I was taking that because about, about, about hour three or four, 
it wear off. And I've never really actually been in any pain since the, since the surgery. I've seen a lot of videos where like the appears like actual pain. You can't cough or hiccup without extreme pain. And that one of the incisions usually hurts more than everybody else. Than all the other ones, I mean. And I never experienced that. I experienced a little uncomfortableness. But now actually no pain. And I don't really even experience that anymore. Um, so to be tell you, the, I mean, I've had some buyer's remorse. Like I said, I can't eat anything. But I'm, I'm, I'm kind of having mood swings. One minute, I'm extremely happy, glad I did it. Ex excited to see how, how much weight I'm going to lose and what I'm going to be able to eat. And on the other moment, I'm like, dang, this is like, this is real. I can't eat anything. I can't enjoy any of the awesome foods that I used to love before. I mean, it's, you know, it's mood swings. I guess it's probably quite a few people have them. But, um, this is, <coughs> excuse me, this is day 10, and I'll be seeing the doctor in about four or five days, probably I'm going to see the, the nutritionist and dietitian in about four or five days, and we'll see what we can do, where we go then. Um, this is just an update, I'll probably, if I, I'll probably, I'll probably re record another video the day before, I mean, when I get to weight wise, or, or when I get back, or whatever, I'll let you know how that went. Um, thank you very much, this is Larry, bye.